Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Ariella is here to block traffic. Popcorn featured on Quarantine Radio. Listen to what Vibes Cartel's lawyer had to say. Stay tuned for the stories in detail. And remember to follow me on Instagram at Mota underscore Massey. Yeah. Yeah. When we roll out, it's so hard to choose. All of my friends, them look good. Blotch a thicker road in Neva move. All of my friends, them say good when we Ariella, Ariella, Ariella. You and your friend them come out strong in other music video. I'm gonna ask Christ. Yo, massive wanna know say it gives me great pleasure to review female songs, you know. Oh no, no. I'm just really glad to be a part of it because I know they get so much fight in this music industry. The song you just heard is called Block Traffic. Big up Gravity Entertainment for this song. Guess what, Massey? She's from St. Anne's Bay, St. Anne's. So yes, and I don't know, say I'm my parish. That. So big up the St. Anne Massive. Also, she has opened for Shensia some time ago. Check out another piece of block traffic. Your fault why you're your friend named Steve good and stress free. And your fault at all good in no no. For such a young artist, you are dash out be a self-confidence. You're comfortable and proud of the skin you're in, and all those factors command the attention of the viewers. Furthermore, I must comment how your lyrics are pushing the message of building your friends so that all of you can win together. Big up for that. Oh, and Massive, she has another song out now called Brand New, and both songs are available on all digital platforms. To listen to Block Traffic, click the link in the description box below and check her out on Instagram at only a Ariella. Let her know. Say a mouth of my no. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. Yes, me know say I'm here on tuning to quarantine radio because it's going to be something, something. Yes. And guess who passed through? No other than popcorn with Jamaican celebrity. Yes. I want to check out this vid. Hold on. Quarantine. Yeah. Hold on. Quarantine. Popcorn in the building. Oh, Yo, my Right now, live on 
Cheers, bro. Shout out Bob Bon in the building. Let's hop, hop. Yes, and Rolly Bar show them say, yo, you got skills. Yes, I think turn up in the kitchen. We know that from long time. I'll we'll never know on a late. Come to my reservation. Bar Renita Roberts, the Queen's Council, representing Mr. Palmer, along with Mr. Finson, and Miss Kimberly Whitaker, Junior Council. Obviously, looking at sentencing, because we argued that wrong, yeah. mm -hmm. that the sentence was excessive, and so we are obviously looking at the sentencing regime, what the sentence that was passed. I believe um, it was 35 years for Mr. Palmer, mm -hmm. and for the poor foods it was 25 years. Yeah. So what they have been the changes to the sentence? No, they, they are saying they wish us to submit to them um, further information so that they can take a decision on what is the sentence that would be appropriate uh, in the circumstances. So they are particularly asking for time spent in custody. So we will have to send, we have seven days to send um, that material to them. And then you will hear the... the, the um, what the sentence is that they think is appropriate. What they will take into account, and then they will make a decision on that. Which is an indication that they have already agreed that it should be reduced, or they will, they will be convinced by the arguments presented? Um, they, I would say they have already agreed it should be reduced, but as to by how much, yes, it should be reduced. Then it will depend on how long each person has been in custody. That seems to be the, the center of their um, decision, how long they have been in custody mm -hmm. until trial. Right. Yes. Did you, did you, did you, um, did you have discussion with Mr. Palmer last evening when you got word of the... No, well, you know, it's, it's, uh, we are on lockdown, COVID lockdown, so, um, there is no way they are going to allow us in the prison. Um, but I, we will, Mr. Finch and I will communicate with him through the authorities, mm -hmm. and then we will, um, take a decision on the matter. We actually have spoken to him already on the issue 
Um, so we have an idea where we are going. Um, we, are, we were prepared for all eventualities. As you are well aware, we don't sit in the Court of Appeal. Um, so we have to wait on, the, on this decision. So we have gotten it today. And I believe Mr. Princeton is not here, um, but we work together. And I believe we'll be going to the Privy Council. You, you, are, you, are you surprised by this decision? Um, no, the public pressure is such um, that there's a lot of negative for Vibes Cartel um, from certain persons and certain um, areas of the society. So we expected it. But personally and professionally, I can tell you, I, my view, I was not in the trial. Remember that. I did not do the trial. It was Mr. Finson. But when I read the transcripts, which were 10 volumes, it was my view that he did not get a fair trial. So we are confident in that and we will be pursuing that. Too early now to talk about the points you will argue before the Privy Council. Well, um, the entire bundles, we have to prepare all the bundles, we have to go for leave. That's the first thing. Um, there are constitutional issues because, you know, fair trial is a constitutional issue. So we will basically be arguing that again. How do you expect that he will be informed of this decision? Well, we, his attorneys, myself and Mr. Finson, will have to contact the, the correctional institution and speak with the officers in charge there. And then we, will, we could ask to speak to him by phone. And they could just as we did a teleconference a while ago, and then we'll inform him. But media being what it is, I'm sure he knows already. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Chris. We really appreciate it. Uh, you are so welcome. If I might ask, um, QC, there have been concerns about his health. Yes. Um, is there anything that you, you could say about that in regards to his health condition and um, if this is something that you know could you possibly could put forward as a um, if there are actually health concerns? Um, the only way those health concerns can be used is had we been or at retrial been ordered and then we would have to go back before the court for bail okay. and certainly that would help us. Um, but we, especially Mr. Finson, follows up his condition and when he needs to be taken to the hospital, he is taken. It's not that he's being neglected. Um, he can't be treated in the institution. So you will know from time to time he's taken right. to an appropriate facility right. um, to receive whatever attention is needed. Any more questions? Well, people just want to understand what exactly this means now for him because they don't fully understand what that means, okay. what is next. Well, it basically the court has said that they have, um, they are not allowing the appeal. It's a legal term, but basically it means he stays convicted of the offense of murder until any other court says otherwise. So that is why we would go to the Privy Council. As you know, the Privy Council is the highest court that we can appeal to. Um, and it's more or less the same process that we do here. Much more paperwork. And we will have to retain um, council in England, in the UK, um, Queen's Council. Uh, we have persons on standby. We have prepared for all of this. Okay, so if they have denied the appeal, what, what do you need the extra seven days for then? Okay, they have given us seven days to submit some papers. They give us a reasonable time because they know that there's a COVID shutdown right now and state of emergency. So I, I, they have given us sufficient time to get matters, to get the matters before them. It's basically it, not anything great. And then we will hear from them again as to the sentence for each person separately. So the court of it is possible that the court of appeal will reduce the sentence. Oh that's a possibility. I think that is a real possibility.
But where it relates to getting him off completely, you'll have to go to the Privy Council. Correct. Okay, thank you. But... Jaja, we had to pull all night, deprive myself of sleep for this. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, so basically what I gather is that they're going to take the case to the Privy Council, which is the highest court for Jamaica. So I guess we're waiting yet again for some good news. You know, this is a good news somewhat, so it's gonna escalate further. Out of Jamaican hands and go to the Privy Council. But you see me, we were expecting a different verdict today. That's just all I can say. Massive how you guys feel. Let me know in the comment section below. But that's it for today, people. Matter big up on a nice clean self. No love, no respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the massive. I'm out of Massey. I'm gone. Mauta Massey. Mauta Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe now. now. now.